Hello class, this is a video tutorial on grouped frequency distribution tables. Okay, let's get straight into it now. So sometimes numerical data is spread over a wide range of scores. Right? In cases such as these, it is often better to group data into classes. Classes is a range of numbers and count the frequency of each class okay it'll make more sense as we go on um, each class must be of the same size or range if you want to use a different word so the larger that we make the range the more inaccuracy it will show when we um, when we analyze the data whereas if you make the range really small okay um, it will just be more time consuming and it defeats the purpose of having a ranged, uh, sorry, a grouped frequency table to begin with. Okay, so just for an example, it will make, make a lot more sense once I've, um, once I've started doing this one here, this example here. Okay, so here we have the measurements of the maximum temperatures on Mondays taken over one year with with the results shown in degrees Celsius. So we want to draw a frequency distribution table with classes or groups. You can take a look, it goes from 11 to 15, 16 to 20, 21 to 26, and so on. So let's draw up a frequency table for that, okay? Okay, so here we have, we're going to put on our leftmost, is going to be our class. Or we can call it a group. And as always, we're going to put it as degrees Celsius. In our next column, sorry, we're going to have our tally. This is our tally. This is our frequency. Notice how I don't draw any lines just yet because I don't know how much space I'll need. But, so they want ranges from 11 to 15 is our first one. So 11 to 15. Next one will be 16 to 20, then 21 to 25, 26 to 30, uh, 31 to 35 degrees Celsius for all of them. Okay, so now what we're going to do is just whenever any of these falls within the range, we're going to tally them. Oops, ignore that. Okay, so I think that's all we need thus far. And I'll just start making this a lot neater. As always, our total is going to be at the bottom here. Okay, so let's just begin tallying these off, shall we? So, 14, 23 belongs in this group. 14 is in this group. And we're going to keep going with this. Um, you're going to see me fast forward through this point in in the video so here we go now we got 29 
Okay, so here we have our tally. And this will give us our final count of this is six. This one here is, that's 13. This is five, 10, 15, that's 17. That is 10, and that is five. Okay, so adding these up, that's 10. Three and seven make 10. Plus 11 is 21, carrying the two. Two, three, four, five. Four. That is wrong. Anyway, so we should have 51 here. Okay. Now they're asking us what is the size of each class? We'll answer these questions here. The size of each class. Well, some some might be tempted to answer. Some might be answer. Well, fifteen take away eleven. That is four degrees Celsius, right? This is, however, wrong. The size of each class. If we write them out, because eleven is included in this one. So if we write them, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. That's actually one, two. Three, four, five. That's five degrees. So there is a five degree difference between each of these. Okay, so each class has five degrees. Okay, how many Mondays had a maximum temperature of 26 or more? Question C. 26 or more. So here we have 26 and more, so that's 10. But this is also 26 or more because 31 is bigger than 26. So we're gonna add these two here. That's 10, here we have 10 and five. That is 15 Mondays had Temperatures of of twenty six degrees Celsius or more. We had how many Mondays had a maximum of twenty degrees or less? Well, here's twenty degrees, and we want to start from here and count downwards because anything less than this or is less than twenty. So that's going to be 13 plus six. That is 19 Mondays. Had temperatures of 20 degrees Celsius or less. Okay, and then now it says, question E is the last one. This one's very particular, because it says, how many Mondays had a maximum temperature of 27 degrees? Now, if you think about it, you may think that it's going to be in this column here, 10. But remember, this class here means it's 26, to 30. It's not exactly 27 degrees. Rather, for this, we have to count exactly how many had 27. So we're not going to use this. We have to refer back to our original data here. So we want to look for 27s here. That's one. Um, can we find any more? That's two. That's three. I believe that's it. So only three Mondays had temperatures 
of 27 degrees Celsius. So this here is grouped data in frequency distribution tables.